this video is sponsored by Tender. For all your router, switches and wireless needs, check out Tender Australia in the links below. Hi guys, welcome to another PK TV Productions. This is the Nova MW3 Mesh Wi-Fi System. So this thing can do 1,200 megabits per second dual band distribution mesh Wi-Fi system. It's designed to go between one to 300 meters squared houses. So if you've got a double story house or an extremely long low story house, this will cover your entire range. For most houses, this will two will be enough, but in this case, the three is definitely if you want to have that full coverage. This is probably the mesh system for you. Now, it's very important that we actually download the Tinder application so we can actually get this sorted uh, and also get some all the configuration and stuff sorted. So this is a 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz 802.11 AC. And you can see we've got all the other benefits of this particular Wi-Fi mesh system. So let's open the box and take a look and see what's inside and have a look. Alright, first thing we got is a user guide. It is a quick installation guide and we've got our warranty information product licensing as you can see right there. Let's take a look at the actual product itself. So these are those three access points and we've got a first one. which You can see it's got two Ethernet ports at the back there. It's got the Nova logo. It's got the connection at the top and front. And same sort of thing for every single one of them it seems, so let's take a look at what else is inside here. We've got our power adapter, we've got our ethernet, we've got our three power adapters here, and that's pretty much what you get inside. So let's get moving and see what else we can do with this particular unit. So this is the whole unit actually set out there. You can see we've got our three access points, the three power, we've got everything that you need to get this thing sorted. Uh, so we're going to take a look at one of the particular ones and you can see what a closer look of what we have here So we've got one that's a WAN Port we've got also a normal LAN port as well So it could double as a WAN and a LAN port depending on the configuration that you have So one will be the primary The other will be the others will actually be your access points. So at this point You can pick any one of these as long as you have one of them plugged in and configured first, that will be the primary. We'll get to the setup very shortly. Right, so now I've got the primary unit set up, so that can be any one of these access points. In the configuration, be able to do it. I've hooked it up to my MBN. In this case, it directly plugs into the LAN port. I don't need to plug it into a modem or any kind of thing like that because I have a direct MBN fiber link. It may be different for you if you're using DSL or anything like that, uh, where you need to connect it to a physical ADSL modem. But for me, because of MBN fiber, all I have to do is plug in an Ethernet port directly into the fiber box. There's my old router, but let's get the configuration sorted. So now we need to download the Tender Wi-Fi application. So we need to go to the 
iOS or on Android. In this case, I'm on iOS, so I'm on an iPhone, so I'm downloading the Apple application so I can configure this particular router slash access point. Alright, so once we open up the application, we can actually go into the configuration and set up. So if we hit set up, we'll be able to go straight into that. But the first thing we need to do is connect to the Nova. You find the password at the back of one of the access points, as you can see right there. Once you have that, put that in directly, and then we'll have a connection to the Nova access point. Once we've done that, we can move on and go straight into the Tinder application and start the configuration process. So here we go, it's actually identifying the inter internet connection, everything related to that specific configuration that you have set up, MBN or DSL, whatever. Now we need to put in our Wi-Fi names or whatever you want to call it. This is where you put it in. You can see I'm calling it the Nova network for this specific demo. Now we put in our Wi-Fi password obviously at this point. And we're setting up our other access points as you can see right here. So now I'm going to add an additional access point. So one of the other additional access points. So you can do this way manually, but in most cases it will see it automatically once you turn it on. But I'm showing you how to do it manually as well in case you need to do that as well. Now it's trying to find any additional access points as you can see right here. Right, so we should be just finishing up. It is now added. So now we need to do other things. So we can do additional ones uh, and add those additional nodes in there. But first we're going to do our full uh, firmware upgrade. So you can actually just do this directly from the app as well as you can see right here. I'm just going to do an upgrade and once we've done that we'll get to the rest of the configuration. So now we've got all the access points updated, we've done the firmware upgrade, so let's move on to the other configuration that we need to do. So that is general setup of everything else. So let's just go into what else we can do here. So we've got a general maintenance schedule, so if you wanted to have this firmware update done during a period of time in the night, you can do that. You've got your general Wi-Fi settings here. We've got our parental control. You can add in parental, you've got a guest network option, you've got your Wi-Fi password changes if you need to do that, or network changes. You've got everything from port forwarding to general configuration. So that is a quick unboxing of the Nova MW3. I hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe. Cheers.